Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we're doing the last beer from the McCall's Brewery Mayday six pack, which is a, a six pack of beers, all collaborations, and they are brewed uh, for mental health charities, uh, men's mental health charities. Um, so I left this one to last because this is my favourite style out of the six. Every beer was a different style, and I have to say, every beer has been brewed faithfully to their styles, and um, I really enjoyed them. So, the last one is a collaboration between Brew York and Bath Hass, which are brewing consultants and uh, hop producers, and McCall's Brewery, of course, and it is a can of their A Problem Shared. This is a West Coast IPA, clocking in at 5.8% ABV, and the charity that this will benefit from this beer is Man Up, which I shall read to you about Man Up. Um, there's been three charities involved in this, the Grieving Pints, Man Up, and the Men's Pie Club. Man Up, don't just brush yourself down and get on with it. That's what they say. They're not going to say anything more about that charity. And I suppose that is um, one of the things which, you know, a lot of us men are used to, brushing us, brushing ourselves down and getting on with it. But obviously there's things underneath as well which need to be addressed, and sometimes they're not addressed. Um, if you want to find out about this six-pack, uh, click on my Mayday six-pack um unboxing if you want i shall tell you about what's in it and tell you why i'm passionate about men's mental health health charities as well and um hopefully they will sell some more beers and sell some more six packs i know for a fact that trembling man is we're selling this separately as well um had it in the shop i don't know if it's on mail order but i did have it um, i don't know what i got that for that's a can <laughs> i should use my finger <laughs> anyway, let's just crack it open. Without further ado, I'm not too sure what hops are in this either. Let's get a whiff. Yeah, straight off pine, straight off the bat there. The hints of orange. Smells great. Smells great. Smells like a West Coast IPA. Nice big pine fruity note there. So let's pour this out. Yes, the beers are all different styles out of this six pack and they've all been brewed faithfully to that style. Um, the beers have been good, well brewed and really, really enjoyable. Uh, so we'll stick that there like you do and we'll have a look at this. Beer in the glass. It's like a marmalade -y, it's like marmalade -y look to this. Um, Definitely, like a golden shred look. There is a, a thin film of sediment in it as well, going up to uh, a dissipating, spacious looking head. Let's get a whiff. Yeah. Orange rind, pine, smells resinous, hint of lemon. It smells decent, so I'm going to go in. So, cheers, everybody. Straight away, that bitterness hits you. Real big pine bitterness hitting you on that front end. It kind of like develops into a sort of orange wine note as well. Um... Slightly dry towards the back, but that pine and bitterness is right down the middle. It is the spine of the beer. It's it's there. It's it's very faithful to the style. It's not going to deviate from the style, and that's been all the way through this six pack. Every beer has been faithful to its style, and this is a good good example. Good example of a West Coast IPA. Mouthfeel is medium to smooth. Body of the beer is just packed out with that bitterness. It's really, really good. 
really good um it just is it's just a really good interpretation i suppose of it of, of the style and you know it you know brew york a great great brewery anyway um and you know team of mccall's they're two great breweries i would say if really mccall's brewery a straddling the fence between craft and traditional um they're not really craft full-on craft and they're not really full-on traditional they're kind of like one of these breweries which kind of like sit on the fence and uh, but it works it works well from because all their beers mccall's breweries beers have been great the ones i've done on the, on the channel they've been really really good um pretty solid pretty solid brewery in my opinion as for brew york we all know brew york um big fan of brew york you know again a great brewery you know they've dabbled in the supermarkets and that but you know who doesn't these days so um yeah it's, it's a good good collaboration between the two um and i'm glad i've saved this to last because it's like i say it's my favorite style out of the six and it's a great great beer one more for the road Gonna say it's gonna be great with a burger. Great with a burger and a brioche bun. That is cracking. The more I go in, that bitterness is just punching. Just punching us. Punching my taste buds into smithereens. And it's great, great stuff. Boys and girls, a problem shared. Mayday. I'm a bit sad now. It's my last beer out of that six pack. But they've all been great. Hopefully they'll, they'll do this again next year. Um, I don't know if I will pick it up next year because I don't know if the beers are going to be any different next year. But it would be a good good thing to do this on a yearly basis anyway. Just to, you know, bring men's mental health awareness to the forefront. So, yeah, a uh, big thumbs up from me. A problem shared from Boo York, Bath Hat and McCall's Brewery. Get the thumbs up. Get onto Trembling Man. This, see if they're selling this. Um, I think it's about five or a can. You know, it's for charity. Pick one up. Thank you so much for watching this one. And I shall see all of you again on another beer review. Cheers, everyone.